In this video, we will guide you through performing your first HD EMG measurement in the Saga user application. Before you can begin using Saga, it is important to make sure that the device driver and the Saga user application are installed on your PC. If you have not done this yet, check out Video 3 User Software Package. Once the driver and software are installed, have the device powered on and connected correctly by following the steps outlined by Video 4, starting up your Saga device. Next, prepare the textile grid as explained in this instructional video that you can find on our YouTube channel. If you have completed these steps, then you are ready to proceed with your first HD EMG measurements. Let's get started. Open the Saga user application and wait for the connection. The application will automatically search and connect to your Saga. Select the HD EMG workflow. The user application will continue on the settings page. On the left side of the screen, there is an overview of the different pages. On top of the settings page, it is possible to select the grid type and set the reference method and sampling rate. For HD EMG, we advise to measure with common reference and use a sampling rate of 2000 Hz or higher. The application automatically saves the configuration of the device. On the file management page, you can locate the folder where the data is stored to and change the desired folder. Additionally, you can have the option to modify the file name and the file type to either XDF or POLY5 formats. After configuring your device to the correct settings and selecting the folder you would like to save the recording files to, you are ready to start your first measurement. First, it is important to check the impedances of the channels. It is important to ensure not only low impedances but also similar impedance values for all electrodes. Once satisfied with the impedances, you can proceed to the signals page and record your first data to file. The data acquisition will start immediately and data will automatically be saved to a recording file. To stop the recording, you can press the Start Stop button on the top of the page. While performing a measurement, it is also possible to change the visualization of the plotter to your preferences. In the menu, the filter settings can be configured. It is possible to set the cutoff frequency as desired. Then, the viewer settings allow you to change the amplitude of the channels, zoom in or out, and change the time range of the displayed signals. Either way, the raw data is stored to file. Last, it is possible to change the channel settings, select a row to display, show all or hide all channels. Furthermore, you can also change the color per channel if you would like to. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like to know more about our products and accessories, visit our knowledge base here.